Hi guys, welcome to this quick review about this Max Blue water filter for Samsung fridges. The model says MB, a lot of zeros and 20B and it came in a two pack with an instruction and also some special notes for installation. Comes also with this monthly stickers here which you can put here so you know how old it is but usually with Samsung you get a notification on the panel when it's time to replace the filter and so I didn't use this so it's up to you if you want to go with this thing here or just with the uh, alarm from the Samsung. By the way you can see the situation here that's my Samsung fridge and that's the exact model here you can see that if you're interested uh, if you have the same and the water filter is down here so in the corner and that's the uh, Max Blue water filter which is inside now. I bought this in this two package so there's one left. I replaced the first one one month ago and so I wanted to share my experience with you because I have seen very mixed reviews so I wanted to show my honest opinion on that so what i can tell you it was really easy to apply we just open the seal here around we remove the cap we take out the old uh, water filter i mean what i recommend uh, is to at least stop the ice making i've never stopped the water supply or so if you are super concerned or so of course perfect solution would be to turn off the water but based on my experience it's not needed just turn off the ice maker and then you're good to go and then you rotate this uh, counterclockwise the old one take it out of course it's always recommended to have a, a towel and bucket uh, closed so in case there is a spill but usually uh, it's not much i mean the most thing which you have is out of the old filter usually when you have it like leaning like this uh, you should avoid that just hold it like that and usually there is then no water leaking and uh, so I removed everything here, also the cap, uh, put it inside and twisted it clockwise and it was already done. And of course it's recommended to flush it maybe one or two gallons to remove everything which could be like from the manufacturing or so and then and then you're ready to go and use it to drink. And this is what I'm doing since about a month. I'm using the Max Blue filtered water from the fridge and everything is nice and good and tasty. And I've also asked the whole family and everybody has been confirming that they love the taste. There's absolutely nothing weird, no strange, no nothing. I mean, we have been switching from another brand which had really slow uh, water throughput the water was running always very very slowly and so we gave a chance to the max blue and i can confirm that the water is running much faster than before but it still has a very good filtration so there's absolutely no taste no chlorine or so we are using this now for drinking and for the whole kitchen to rinse everything to uh, cook everything and by the way there was also no leak i've seen some people complaining about leaks. I don't know how this could happen as long as the seal is properly in place and not damaged. But for safety reason, of course, I added a water leak detector to the uh, fridge. I have it uh, always there anyway. It's always a good recommendation to do it. But there was not a drop, not a bit of a leak. And it's more than uh, one month since. And so I'm super happy with it. I can highly recommend and I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it and I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, thanks for watching, see you next time.